So another common uh, movement that we do is what we call flashing, and that is just a simple lifting of the shirt or the skirts to expose what's underneath, such as what we have right here. Um, the outer wrap is what you wear on the outside, obviously. Inside, this is what we call a becho, which is just an inner wrap that has, you can see there's a lot of cutouts. It usually has beads or sequins of some kind, and women wear it underneath their outer wrap as just kind of a sexy extra thing to add to when they're flashing, when they're opening and closing their skirts, just like this. And let me tell you, not all of them have on pants underneath those things. So the less clothing you have on underneath, you know, the more you're going to be exposing. That's really up to you. There are also inner wraps called petite pan, which is just an inner wrap. It doesn't have to be a becho. It doesn't have those cutouts. But it's just one that's worn underneath the outer one. The flashing also can happen with the lifting of the shirt, which exposes these things called bin bins. The bin bins are just waist beads, usually on an elastic, elastic string, and they happen to make this little clicking sound that you might hear sometimes when you walk. And that's all part of the women's ability to dress up when they go to a sabar party. They dress up, they wear the bechos, they wear the bin bins, and they can expose them as they're lifting their shirts or as they're lifting their skirts to dance. So, you know, one way is on the five-step jump, you can be lifting the shirt to expose the bin bins. Also see what's going on under there. You can be lifting the skirt on the jump to expose the becho. Either one of those. And those, that's usually a big treat for the drummers because a lot of these sabar events is mostly just women and the drummers are the only men there. So they get to kind of play to them, be a little playful to them, show them what's going on, just kind of tease the drummers a little bit for being the only guys there.